Hello everyone, my name is Corazar, and welcome back to Vintage Story Desert Life, episode 62. This video was originally streamed live on YouTube on July 21st, 2024. I hope you enjoy the video. Now we do have a fresh breeze, I think for the moment, since it's going pretty slow, we will just quern these by hand. And we'll do just enough to do a couple of these pies. So let's see, we need to do, we need four per pie. So we'll do 32. Because we're gonna be doing eight total pies if we can. Hopefully peanuts work in pies. If not, uh, then we'll do three pies, I guess. <laughs> this would never, this layout would never meet OSHA's code. <laughs> Indeed. The permanent temporary solution, yep. Draconis1 is here, says hi all. Hello, Dakronos1. You came in just in time for some heart-pounding quern action. Since we... Well, we, we probably do have enough materials to uh, hook up the quern. But I want to just get this done here tonight while the drifters growl outside. But we will just do this batch of pies and then be done for now. Medieval quality probably wasn't known to be the same as modern OSHA. <laughs> yeah, probably not. And Katie Cat saying that the, the permanent temporary solution is the story of her life. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I think we should probably... Okay, so we, we already have a stretch goal um, of doing a bit more chiseling here. Um, so, an alternate stretch goal of hooking up the quern to the automation. So, I'll let you guys decide. Do you want me to... For a stretch goal today, if, if we get to it, should I hook up the corn, or should we chisel the iron grates over the windows downstairs? So just put uh, in chat, just put chisel or corn. We have Hamuel Burger is here. Good day to you as well. One vote for corn. Corn, corn, corn. <laughs> chisel, corn. And Moonshadow's here. Hello, Moonshadow. Chisel. All right. There we are. Quern. Chisel Quern. Regal, Regal who can't follow directions. All right, let's get these here. I may as well just stand over by the water. What's up, guys? I don't even see you. Where are you? Oh, there you are. That's my door. All right. And we're going to store the bucket of water in the water. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so let's see. Can we... That's, that's the rice grain. I need you. Rice dough. Can we do peanut pies? We can. Oh, sweet. Oh, great. That's awesome. Uh, let's make some room here. Here we are. Nice. So we do have a use for peanuts, finally. That's not just eating them by hand. That's pretty cool. I guess we could also possibly start heating this up, too. Let's do a bit of that. Get you heated up here, buddy. We can probably just leave these on here, and once they start heating up, they'll start cooking. And in there you go. There we go. And the pies are already heating up. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing uh, faster updates on these. 
Uh, but it probably is a concession because I'm going to guess that updating all these at the same tick as the oven is probably computationally expensive. That customer ordered an arrow pie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the satiation like on the peanut pie? It said uh, 1280. So divide that by four and you get, uh, what, 320 per slice. It's a very dry pie. Yeah, I guess if you, if you mash the peanuts up and you like add some oil, maybe a bit of water, uh, maybe you know would be nice would be if you could add honey to some things to add a little bit of of more satiation to it. Like I could see a peanut and honey pie would be kind of nice. Draconis one missed this contraption. What is it? This is the stone bake oven mod. We are we're doing some mod exploration today. Pie, single legume, peanut, part baked. Oh no. Guys, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Pie, single legume, peanut, perfect. Perfect. I like the sound of that. <laughs> okay, so pies go on here. You're still hot. I'm guessing you are burning the last log. It seems to that when the last log starts burning, it just disappears and you just get ghost flames. <laughs> Maga Sybil can see, can see honey working well with it. Yeah, I think that'd be a nice a nice addition. Um, that way you get you get some of the, you know the, the the watery part that lubricates it when you eat it. Plus, like, I feel like a, a peanut pie would just be kind of it'd, it'd be a savory pie, wouldn't it? Because peanuts are are mostly savory, especially once you roast them. These seem to get to part baked real fast. I wonder if that's part of the mod or if I'm just forgetting how long it takes to bake these things. But also you'll see that you don't you don't get to watch them rise at the same resolution. They kind of jump up. If we were doing this in a clay oven, these sort of jumps in rising would be a lot less noticeable. They'd be like a very slow growth. They do still chip up by like parts of a voxel though, or little pixels. It's not perfectly smooth. And this is still burning. What the heck? All right, well, we got eight peanut pies now. That's pretty cool. Um, I could almost make the pumpkin pies real quick, too. We only need a few more of these. We need, uh, what? Maybe even just one. There's a two. It'll be, it'll be eight, I think. So, yeah, we could do we could do one more pie. Why not? We'll just eat these. Actually, no, I'll, I'll eat them after I make the pie. Just so that we don't end up using... Or eating it before we need it. And Crone 22's got to go. Busy Sunday. Well, it was good to have you here, Crone 22. And we'll hope to catch you next time. There we go. That otter do. Let's see. There we are. It's very noisy here. Couldn't tell you why. Guess it is eight per pie, and then we'll. Uh, since this is a vegetable pie, I do this thing where my my meat or protein pies get no cuts. The Vegetable pies get one cut, and fruit pies get two cuts, so it'd be like that. That's how I know what they're, what's in them. <laughs> let's see, let's uh, fire this back up again. Oh, cool, and it's, it is still hot, so it does start burning again right away. That's nice. Let's go ahead and eat these guys, get them out of our inventory. Awesome. These are good for eight days as usual, so we will need to go and store these down in our basement. Post haste. Now I might even just tuck this back there too. Brrr. Blah. And then we'll sleep. <laughs> uh, you might need some more wood. Get you back up to cooking temp. Maybe even like one more. Do we need one more? I guess we'll see. You just realized the stub toe counter. Yeah, this is a very stub toe counter. 
Don't walk too close to it. It's to keep patrons from getting too close. <laughs> ah, park baked already. Wow. Yeah, this does go pretty quick. It feels. It does feel quicker. Yeah, all of our angry customers here. Where's my pie? Where's my pie? Uh-oh. I think we're not going to get baked here unless I put one more in. Two more, just to be sure. So it does seem to me that the, the trade-off here is that the, the stone bake oven doesn't hold its heat. Oh, there we go. It's already done. As well as the, uh, as the clay oven does, but that's okay. All right, let's go sleep, and then we will run these in our basement. Uh, let's use the shorter sleep bed. Now we'll hydrate while we're sleeping. Alright, good morning again, folks. Let's get out of here. Ow. Ow, my ankles. <laughs> what a mob. <laughs> Alright, let's actually run through our base here. Get them to despawn, just in case they end up following us. Because they would, most likely. That should do. Okay, let's go. Oh, we should probably put our wood. We could put some firewood there, uh, but not at this exact moment. Let's first get... Let's see. I want to put this in the protein. So we'll do about half of you there. Uh, and then how are we doing on veggies? We're doing fine on veggie. Um, so we'll just, you know, we'll tuck you in here as well. Interesting. The pumpkin pie actually has more satiation than the... Uh, the peanut, sorry, the pie single legume peanut perfect pie. <laughs> it's a mouthful. <laughs> oh, vintage story never change. All right, so there's that. And we'll finish up this meal at some point. And then we'll cut up these pies on the floor. That's right. You thought I was going to not be a barbarian. You were wrong. You were dead wrong. Our eight days left on you. And I think we're good. Let's make a bit of firewood and just plop it down over there. Uh, so we'll just grab like a stack of you. We'll grab our junk axe. Just chop you up. Get to the chopper. And we will stuff you. There we right there. Okay. Well, that's a pretty cool little mod. I'm, I like that. I guess a lot of fun. Our next mod is going to be the Beehive Kiln mod, which I have not tinkered with at all. Uh, where to put the firewood is a good question. <laughs> I did not leave much space here, did I? Um, maybe... I think maybe what we could do is maybe tuck a hidden pile under here um, at some point. Again, I think there'll be stretch goal. Which, by the way, it seems like you guys want me to automate the quern more than anything, so we will do that uh, as our main stretch goal. Or first stretch goal for today. Alright, let's have our meal here. I forgot to put our this guy back, but I got 44 days, so whatever. You stay with me. So, let's take a peek at what we need for the Beehive Kiln mod here. Since it uh, the mod um, page shows it being made out of fire clay bricks, I figured we probably need fire clay bricks. So, this is half of the brick uh, capacity, or half of the bricks that we actually got uh, from the fire clay. So, we're good for a little while. Let's also take this down for hopefully the final time.
And then we'll also fill in the sand here, too. Someone asked a question that I will answer later about the... What's more difficult, uh, playing... Playing Star Sector with... Uh, where you can only have pairs of ships. Or... Uh, where you must... Or, or playing Vintage Story where you must pan every block of sand and gravel that you ever dig up. Um, we're not exploring that today, but... Uh, <laughs> just, just maybe think of that. Let's go and grab our sand to fill this in. Snad. Uh, I think I should think it's just 12, isn't it? Yeah. Ow. How are we doing here? You're not quite ready for a second planting of uh, flax, but we're getting there. And I will do... I will do probably one more full flax planting. Just so we can get enough for finish up those windmills and repairs to our armor, which we don't need yet, but I'm assuming we will. Soon-ish. There we go. And we have this axe on us still. When are we exploring the ruins of the house? We did that already. Um, we, uh... Oh, actually, a while ago. Uh, that was where I got jump-scared a bunch of times by the sawblade locusts. I put the knife up there, that's why. Okay, whoopsie. Alright, so let's take a look at these. Uh, here we are. Fire brick kiln flu. D oh, great. <laughs> the beehive kiln can damage the bricks. Like, I'm not a wild fan of that. Let's see, is there like a beehive kiln? Fire brick kiln, flu, crafting mechanic. Interesting, so there there is no uh, there's no guide for the beehive kiln. What's wrong with my olive trees? Nothing. Are you looking at the pomegranate trees? This is because it's cold out, but they're also in flowering season. I think they should be okay. Uh, they're losing their flowers because they should be fruiting soon, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I hope they don't die. I'd be very disappointed if they do. But the olive trees are here are fine for some reason. Like, they're a-okay. Although I think they've lost their leaves too. Look at that. It's all just the flowers. Hmm concerning. Well, we shall see. We shall indeed see. Alright, so we need to make a bunch of bricks and other odds and ends. It is pretty cursed, isn't it? Uh, now, I have or had I used to have mortar in here. Oh, I think I know where it is. Pretty sure our mortar is out here. I think for now we'll we'll build our beehive kiln like somewhere inside the compound there. I think it'd make more sense than having it like just sitting outside. The mortar in here? No. How about in here? Yes. All right. Is there a good spot to put this beehive kiln in here? Here would be perfect, but I don't think I can. Let's find out where's my, uh... Yeah, this is all... Flamed land. So, can't go there. Maybe we'll go outside. <laughs> and maybe it would make sense to put it outside, because it would be really hot, and it would make the interior here a lot hotter. So, let's entertain the possibility of putting it outside, then. Like, right out here. Just sitting here, in the middle of nowhere. Alright, so let's see. We need... Boop. Fire brick grating. Okay. Fire brick kiln flu. So we're going to need at least one of you, I assume. So one mortar and a bunch of bricks. Like so. 
I, I think I understand about how to build this thing. I guess we'll find out in a minute here. I wish there was a crafting guide, though. I really do. And maybe there is. Let's see. So we can build a grating out of you. I'm going to guess that we need one of these to go in the center where the fire is going to be. We get three. Why do we get three? I don't know. Welcome, Kulshi. Uh, the trees may be suffering from cold damage. If you, uh, It looks like you just got here. Um, that's what's happening. <laughs> we'll see how they do. All right, and then fire clay bricks. The usual. Ingredient for... You can make slabs from bricks? From the blocks? Interesting. Oh, with a mod, okay. I'm assuming this is a mod. But I don't know. Alright, let's just make a bunch of these guys. That might be enough. Alright, well I really don't know how to make how to make this fire clay kiln. Oops, that's that's dirt. <laughs> that's dirt. Okay, so let's try putting you down first. You sit right there. Can we build a fire under you? Let's find out. Or do we build it like one block down? No. Okay, so I guess we build it one block down. He wants an iron door? Blah. Blah. No one likes that. I'm mean, gonna guess we do something like this around it too, don't we? Surfaces to place things. Yay, nay. Something like that. How come my game looks so clean? Uh, I don't know. I'm I mean, I'm running it with the settings turned up pretty high, so that could be it. Meteoric Iron Door. <laughs> hey, Foxcry, coming in with a two-pound uh, super thanks. Thank you so much. The build guys on the mod page. All right, well, I didn't want to. I didn't want to like sit here and, and look things up while we're on stream, but I guess I'll have to. Uh, let's see, Beehive Kiln. Yeah, go away. Beehive Kiln. Build guide is on the mod page. Okay, here we are. Oh my. We might need more uh, more blocks, actually. And it does want an iron door, although I'm wondering if we can just seal it up with, uh, with more bricks. Which looks like we can. It looks like it might be possible. Oh, so you can build this taller than a single block. Okay. That makes that makes some level of sense. So it looks like we need to raise this up by one more block. Let's go ahead and do that now. There we are. Break you. You know, we'll actually put a brick down here. Just so, like, we if we... Uh, destroy things by accident, we won't uh, end up <laughs> in a pickle. Okay, so then we build our cooking floor. I'll tuck you there. And then we need to go up a couple levels. We're going to do that and that. We're going to put these guys in a ring around here. Like so. And then we cover you up. Actually, we, we probably need to get our stuff in here first. I'm going to guess it's probably wise to put an iron door on like here or something. Like a, like, a, like a small iron door, like the coke oven door. But we'll see. 
right, so we'll just start that there. We do have some stuff that we need to bake. So let's go and we'll fill that up now. Let's get you out of here. We'll need you. We definitely need more bricks. So let's just finish up. Uh, we'll just finish you up here. Want them eventually anyway. And the sand block. Bye. <laughs> Let me bring back the chat view here. There we go. And Wobbly Boost with a with a five dollar super thanks as well, saying the taller version needs the door, the shorter version needs to be fully closed. Okay. Well, thanks for the tip. Thanks for the tip and for the tip. Aussie dollars. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I guess we'll want some wood too, won't we? And then why did I come back here? Right, play things. <laughs> Let's see, we have a few of these to fire up. I think that's it for our current clay. We do have some additional fire clay bricks that I put somewhere. I think I put them in one of these guys. In the basement. That's right. I put it in the keller. There we go. Whoops. Wrong button. Let's see how many of these we can actually fire. Might be all of them, actually. Boop. We are getting high rift activity, so we might need to uh, take a break here momentarily. Go sleep. But let's see what we can do. Alright, one, one, two, and three. Can it fire more bricks than normal? I have no idea. We're going to find out. Uh, so we're going to do... We're going to do a full stack here and see if that will fire or not. I'm also going to do a half stack in the usual places, in the usual amounts, I should say. And it looks like you can put stuff on the center here, so I'm going to do that here. Oh, it'll do a fully stacked block? Well, shoot. Whoops, nope, not that. There we go. Which means we could fire all of these at once, hopefully. And then we just put you and then a little top hat. And then you. Looks like. Let's go see how this works. We'll see if this actually fires stuff. I guess we're going to find out. So we'll come back. I don't know uh, if resting is going to be conducive to it, but we're going to need to because it's high rift here. So if it burns out prematurely, we'll just go and fire it up again. Boop. Good night, folks. <laughs> Hydration time. Okay. Good morning, kids. Kids, kiddos, and kitties. Well, let's get out there and see what the situation looks like. Oh, we're firing. Very fun. Ah. Interesting. So you didn't go out. Now, I do wonder, do I need to keep feeding it wood for a while? I'm going to quick pop over to the, uh, the guide here. 
So six hours need to pass. It must not be opened or heat will be lost. After firing completes, break open the kiln to get your fired items. Okay. So I think, given that we have been here for more than six hours already, I'm actually going to pop on a couple more logs here. Just to be safe. A few. <laughs> Just a few logs. Ooh, we have... Oh, we've got more flax. Hello, Hellhammer, my old friend. There we go. That ought to last. So we have all but one done here, and we have all done here. Let's take a quick break from our current task, which is exploring mods. Since you do need to wait for the pottery or the uh, beehive kiln to finish. And let's get this in here. Uh, you know, we're going to bring the bricks downstairs. Oh, and the clay can actually come too. So we now have some more um, crates down there. Bring you as well. Bring you. And I don't have the saw with me, so we'll get that so that we can finish up making a couple more of these crates. Flax, flax, flax indeed. Michael St. Amand is here. Well, there's a mod for clay beehives. We actually have that on. We're going to be exploring the other part of that mod, uh, Michael, uh, where we do uh, the Langstroth or like wooden box hives. So, because the clay hive is neat, but it's very, it is very work intensive to get set up, like more so than a lot of things in Vintage Story. So I'm going to try some other options first. All right, so someone remind me eventually that down here is where we keep all of our fire clay bricks and things. Because <laughs> I will forget. All right, you can go in here. There we are. And we need two more. Are you fired? You are fired, okay. Hey, okay, perfect. Now let's do that. And that. There we go. Since you're fired, you go in the top. There we are. Kurzar, when are we making the 120 hectare flax farm? <laughs> eventually. Definitely eventually. Definitely sometime. That's when. Okay. So I guess we'll know that this is done when we see some cracked bricks, looks like. And I wonder I wonder if, if it's a six hour process, if you keep heating it, like we have here with, I got, this takes, oh. That is burning really slowly. You know, I'm gonna give it one more and we're gonna take the heat away. And we're just gonna see because this should be done, pretty much. But we'll see uh, how that goes. Let's pop this back on here. Odd spot for fire clay stuff? Yeah, well, we're, we're out of uh, we're out of room. <laughs> 20 firewood is enough. I think, given that... Um, oh, shoot, I want the uh, scythe here. Given that the... Uh, fire there seems to burn a lot slower. I think 20 might be overkill. I have a sneakling suspicion. You're not done yet. Let's get this out of the ground here. Mm -mm. Oh boy. All right. We're gonna get everyone but this last piece here. So we'll do him by hand, or the ones around him by hand. Alright. Very cool. Let's see if there's anywhere we should plant this stuff right now. 
Oh, we have more flax out here growing. <laughs> I forgot that. Leaping doesn't affect the cooking time on fires. It, yeah, you're right about that. Although some processes, but not all, do actually complete even while you're sleeping. So you're not quite ready for more potassium just yet. That's fine. Let's... Oh, you're not quite ready yet, so we'll leave you in the ground for now. You're still being weird. Although, I just did notice... Let's go back inside here real quick. Uh, this tree is looking fine. So, I think we're good. We have 49.7 days till we get fruit. Okay. You do you, tree. You do you. <laughs> Let's see if the olive trees are in the same state. Now we have three more days of flowering there. Okay, so in a few days we'll check these out and see that they're like... It is away from flowering or from fruiting. As one does. Okay, let's just go drop off our seeds in here. There we go. Let's put our spare flax with the chickens, perhaps? Uh, let's see. Got a bunch of Gen 2s. Yeah, these guys need more time here, so... Get this filled up. Does the scythe cut only mature crops? Asked Hopeful Dreamer. No, it will it will cut any crop, which is why you got to be careful with it. That's why I didn't uh, uh, didn't use it next to the last flax. Okay, so rest of this can go up in the rot bin or the two rot bin eventually. 65 days. You'll be here a while. There we are. And let's see about getting our last few final. Oh, do we have one more piece of twine? We do. There we go. I think we can finish up these windmills. Max them out. Oh, you bet. We got more than enough. I think I should probably just enough, to be honest. Let's see. Yeah, this is exactly enough. Okay. Let's grab some more sticks. Here we are. Close enough. And three, four. All right. I'm going to tuck some of these back into the crate. And let's go finish up those windmills over here. KD8LVT made it. Hey, good to see you, buddy. All right. I'm not seeing anything happening here, so I'm going to suspect that we do need more fire. But let's let's break it open and find out. Let's just do one. Oh, it's done. Sweet. Okay, cool. I dig it. Pretty nifty. Oops. Try it again. Let's get you up in here. Very nice. Okay. Well, I think we can work with this. I do wish there was an easier way in and out, but I don't mind breaking a couple of blocks here and there. That's, that's not bad at all. Let's see. I'm going to get up here to the Windy Millie section, and we're going to drop on. Bam. 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 And bam. And there we go. We have 100, and 100 kilonewtons output, and we're going at, uh, looks like an average of about 80% wind speed here today. So, pretty cool. 
Oops, if I can get back down here. Well, okay, so I think so far I do enjoy that little mod. Let's get a little... Let's get a happy little accident out here. Let's get a little um, chest out here for storing stuff that we're in the middle of using. I'm just going to probably bust out like this. That will give us plenty of space to grab everything in here. How much will that quern? What do you mean, will that quern? You mean like how how fast will it, will it quern? So actually, the quern won't run terribly fast because we're not gearing it up here. Um, I could at some point foresee gearing up the quern somewhere else, like when in a final spot. Uh, but for right there, I think it's going to be um, just at times one speed. So it'll it'll go about the same speed that we would quern it at by hand. But the nice thing is you can just sort of pop it in and walk away and come back in a minute, and it'll be done. Pop a kettle on. All right, so we got fire clay bricks galore up here. Excellent. We got three more. Ooh, we can pop one down here. Uh, let's line you up. Why not? Feeling very orderly today. And then the rest of these we can put away in here for the time being, along with you guys. And I think the mortar will leave here, too, for now. Oh, we are getting hungry. Let's have some peanut pie, guys. First time. Not too shabby. I'll leave them out in our inventory there. Okay, so next, let's... I'm going to put the sandstone rock down where it belongs, just so I don't forget where it goes. And to remind ourselves to make a sink. Some legume pie. Yes, very tasty legume pie. Legume pie, perfect. Maybe it's a parfait. That's why it's perfect. I'm just going to tuck you there for the time being. Okay. That brings us to the last mod that I want to look at today before we get to our stretch goals. Let's see. Check off Stumbake Oven and Beehive Kiln. And check off next stream, which I did mention is going to be on Saturday the 27th. So for those of you who were not there when I announced it originally... It'll be Saturday for this coming weekend. Uh, we want to do the rest of the beehives on the topic of bees. I want to do Langstroth. So we need a lot of stuff here. Langstroth base. Uh, apparently a lot of options here. Oh, good grief, really? <laughs> wow. Okay, what's the high panel? Oh my goodness. It's a good thing we have a boatload of beeswax. All right. I like that color, though. All right, let's the base. I get the idea, guys. Oh, we got brood box. Okay. This is the part that holds your colony of bees. It is created with a Langstroth Super. What? <laughs> okay, then place it on top of a Langstroth Hive, composed of base, and at least one super. So we need a base, we need a super. We need specifically at least one super, okay, which implies that we can do multiple supers. What? Of course, empty bags. Of course. Thanks, guys. Okay, so the panels just change the aesthetics of it. <laughs> the stacks of bees you thought you had, they're about to disappear. Yeah, I'm getting that impression here. Oh my goodness. This is, this is crazy. Line frame. Line frame, blah, 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 blah. You can repair it with waxed twine. Oh, there, oh no, oh, God. I think I've made a mistake. <laughs> oh no. 
Let's see. Uh, so I do see uh, we have Nick Cervaticon here. Welcome to you. We got Gig Anonymous. Tell me I'm going to need a lot of wax. Gerard is here. Everyone's warning me about the wax I'm going to need. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the impression that uh, we're going to need wax. Burnzilla is here. Welcome to you. I think you're a new face around town. At least this town. My town. Okay, well. Wow. From Golden Combs item, handbook, text, wax, flax, twine. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> what am I getting into? What am I getting into? All right, so it, it looks like we want to pick a nice color for our... Oh, hello. For our designs here. Hello, trees. Um, I'm kind of feeling... I liked the look of the uh, the bald cypress. And I think there's a couple bald cypress trees somewhere around here that I have seen growing in the water or near the water. Oh, sorry, we have this guy too. Got to visit you sometime. Visit. Uh, we'll make you bright white. We'll pin you. So I'm, I'm going to guess it is probably right over here where we have the sort of uh, um, mountain here. I think there should be some bald cypress, like these trees here might be bald cypress. Let's go grab some. Because I'm thinking the bald cypress with like the acacia might look pretty good. Well, everyone, that's about all the time we have for this episode of Vintage Story Desert Life. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did... Let me know by leaving a like or a comment in the section below. But as always, my name is Hasman Gorazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.